guys so welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is bukome biki crown so guys we're going to be checking out a video together titled crucifixion of jesus by khalid nyansi so let's watch guys well the revelation that came uh to us through that final prophet and messenger, Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, in the Quran says, Verily, they crucified him not, and they killed him not. Mm -hmm. This is what evidence, revelation came to us. Now, we have mm -hmm. confidence in that revelation. Mm -hmm. But that's because we're Muslims, and that's our revelation. But let's go to the issue itself and discuss that a little bit. Because I believe that you're sincere and you're open-minded about this issue, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. On that day, when Jesus Christ was allegedly crucified, let's, let's, let, before we talk about kill, let's talk about crucifixion first. On that day that Jesus Christ was allegedly crucified, Penny, what day was that? Okay, I'll tell you it. That's all right. I'll tell you what day it was. It's what they called it Good Friday. Mm. Isn't that Friday? You remember that now? Yeah, I said, what day was that? Good Friday, wasn't it? Isn't it? And for all Jewish people, Friday at sunset, what does it become, Penny? It becomes Saturday, right? Mm. Saturday for all Jewish people is what, Penny? Saturday. The Sabbath. Did you know, Penny, that no one, no Jew, could be prosecuted, persecuted, executed on the Sabbath? Do you know that? Just, just, I'm just, let's just, let's follow. Let's just follow for a moment. I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. On that day, allegedly, that Jesus was taken to Golgotha and put on that cross, allegedly, what time was it, Penny? It was in the afternoon. And Penny, I ask you another question. If it was Friday afternoon, Penny, how long did it normally take for a person after they had nails driven through their hands and feet, nothing else, and put on a tree, how long did it take for a person to die? Hmm. Because crucifixion is not being nailed on the cross. Crucifixion is dying on the cross. Just like if somebody was electrocuted, if I say the person's supposed to be electrocuted or they're supposed to get an injection, if they got the injection and didn't die, were they executed? Were they? If they were put in the electric chair and the electric went all through them and they didn't die, were they executed? Okay, so if Jesus Christ was put on the cross, if he was put on the cross Friday afternoon, nails through his hands, not his heart, nails through his feet, not his heart, and put on the tree in order to be what? humiliated, dehydrated, traumatized, and die a slow, agonizing death that usually took three to four days. Why would Jesus have died, Penny, in an afternoon between before sunset if he was crucified? The guys that are in Guantanamo Bay they have been tortured and abused. Those people that was in Garib prison, they've been tortured and abused. There are plenty of people who have been tortured and abused. A woman could be raped and beaten and tortured and abused, but that doesn't mean she was executed. Here we're talking about crucifixion. Now since you asked the question, I'm giving it back to you in a very rational way. I didn't say he was crucified. I'm giving you a rational explanation of the issue of crucifixion. That's just one point. One, 
it was the afternoon, allegedly. Second thing is that if he was put up on the cross, if you remember, a Roman soldier came by and stuck a spear in his side. Do you remember that? And when he stuck the spear in his side, what happened, Penny? No, water came out. Didn't say blood, said water came out from his side. Now, it might have been water mixed with blood, but Penny, if he was dead on the cross at that time, the heart would not be beating, therefore, water would not have come out. You see, this whole idea of crucifixion, it is crucifixion, but not F-I-X, like he was fixed. It's F-I-C-T-I-O-N, fiction. And the Quran, that final revelation, it says that. It says they were made to think that. In fact, another possible issue that's in the Bible, that one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, who looked very much like Jesus Christ, gave his life up for Jesus. And when they came to get Jesus, the Roman soldiers, they didn't know Jesus. Otherwise, Judas would not have sold him out for seven pieces or 13 pieces of silver. The Roman soldiers didn't know Jesus. So when they came to get Jesus, they got somebody else. Now that's only plausible. I didn't say that's what happened. But in our revelation it says they were made to think that they killed Jesus Christ but they crucified him not and they killed him not. According to our revelation, Jesus Christ was spared of that crime and that humiliation and that Almighty God sent his angel to Jesus Christ and lifted him up physically and brought him up into the heavens. And our belief is that he will come back again physically from the heavens back into the earth again. That's what our revelation tells us. So I understand that when you nail someone on the cross, after so many, the person dies. But this is to show that Jesus was not an ordinary being. He was not an, an ordinary human being. That's to say, that is to say that God has already planned it. God already knew this would happen. Itself, he already knew he would go through this pain. It was, it was already done before it came on earth. You get it? So him not dying instantly was the will of God for him not to die immediately. And at the end of the day, he said, let your will be done. He breathed his last breath. Later on, he died. So later took him to the tomb. Later, what happened? You know, he rose up. It was the will of God. He died physically. Then he rose. But in Quran, they said he did not die. And the angels came to carry Jesus to heaven physically. But in the Bible, it's not so. It's not written that way. It's written that Jesus was actually nailed on the cross with other two men beside him. He was in the middle of the cross. And they whipped him. He felt pain. He was pierced. His whole body was injured, full of blood. You know, he carried his cross. Even though one of his disciples actually helped Jesus to carry the cross for a while. But he carried the cross, the nailing. So his cross is not a normal human being. He's, he's a special being on earth. That was why he didn't die immediately. Yes. So all these things, God already ordained it. God already planned it. And Jesus already said it at his last supper that one of you will betray me. And he already knew the best that would betray him. So you that you already know somebody that would betray you, what will you do as a normal human being? Once you, once you flee, you will flee. You will run away so that the person will not harm you. Person will not, you know, that's how we human beings are. But this is to tell you that Jesus was not a natural being. He already knew this was going to happen. He already knew a day like this would come. But the flesh, the spirit is willing, like he said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh 
is not willing. It's very hard for the flesh to take it. So that's that's my own point of view on the matter. I don't say it's wrong, but this is my own opinion on this matter. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.